Justin, an unknown gunman have been reported to have attacked the special anti-robbery squad SAS again, but now in Enugu State. According to report, six SAS officials have been killed and many have been injured. Also, all prisoner, prisoners have been set free. Remember that last week, an unknown government also attacked SAS operatives in Uibu River State. This is really getting out of hands and I think the government and leaders should look into it. This is because of the uncountable numbers of innocent youth and citizens that the special anti robbery squad SAS have wasted their lives. Nigerians are really angry and cannot tolerate this again. That is why they are seeing an end to SAS operation in Nigeria. The attack on SARS should be a warning to Nigerian government for them to end SARS. Well, this is coming from a Sonto Okonkwo reporting this that it just happened in Enugu. And you can imagine such um, incidents to have happened and occurred. Of course, the problem we have in this country is that we don't even know those who are even involved. It might not even be related to what people are complaining about or because of uh, the harassment on the youth. But let them do this. Let them do thorough investigation and know what exactly is happening. A lot of problems we are faced with in this country, they will not even do the right thing. You see what is happening. The Nigerian people have been calling the the president to change the service chiefs, but he said no. That they are going to finish the tenure together because invariably that is what it means. We are not proactive. We are always reactive to situations. Just like uh, what people have been saying that uh, the AIG has banned not really banned he has stopped them from doing some certain things whether he has banned them from uh, um, involved or getting involved in some operations they've been involved in and that uh, they've been involved in and they're making life uncomfortable for the youth people don't t- trust that because they don't even obey they don't usually obey it is a common knowledge and it is well um it is in the public domain uh, people know that so if they can't take the directives from the aig then what are we left to do so it might be connected this incident might be connected to what is happening or it might not but because of the way we do things that is why people cannot just even pinpoint things and people run away with many 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 insinuations and and rumors let them do the right thing they won't do the right thing how can a country just be living or just be things will just be happening like this in a country I don't understand. And we have people who are in position of authority that will be priding themselves that they are doing this, they are doing this, they are doing that. A lot of people, most especially the leaders, they, are, they don't know what they are doing. Honestly, they don't know what they are doing. If they know what they are doing, and some of them pride themselves being educated, and yet things are not working well because there are a lot of bottlenecks, a lot of challenges, a lot of vested interests. People are not patriotic. The so-called leaders are not patriotic, but they want the 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 citizens to be law abiding it does not work that way and you don't want to live by example but you want the people you are giving order you are making laws for to be law abiding and you you will not be a law abiding even with the constitution the law you are and policies that you have put in place how can country be happening like same things be happening like this in the country we are still talking about esme we are still talking about all those a uh, uh, boko group we are still talking about a uh, bandit they we have many numerous people like that now the ones that are even making life uncomfortable for the masses again it is even from the government uh, 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 from the government side so where do we run to some people are saying oh some people are really happy about the uh, oh, the banning of a uh, SARS that is not going to end because we still have police we still have a uh, 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 other uh, security agencies that are still making things uncomfortable for the people and these people can see device and other means if at all they want to stop you can feel it you can see that they are going to stop for some time but after some time they will pick it up they will make laws it is that initial time maybe one two weeks a month at most before you know everything will still come back to normal what kind of a country is that no wonder some people will be telling you they will be saying that hey, this country is a zoo because in a, in a sinner environment all of these things will not be happening in a sinner environment we cannot just be they can't be going through all of these things and yet we'll be we want people to respect us where we cannot even coordinate ourselves People's lives do not just matter anymore. People are just dying as if uh, uh, flies are just, uh, 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 you know, are being killed every, every, uh, every, everywhere. People just hear that oh, some people are being killed, and that's it. Everybody goes to sleep. Nothing happens. Another one will happen again. People will still complain. Another one will happen. People will still complain. The government will say, oh, we condemn the house. We did this. We do that. We are going to bring the perpetrators to book. I think uh, for some time now we've not been hearing that one again because it's like. 
is becoming a household name for them. Any little thing, we will get back to you. We will get rid of those people. We will do this. We will do that. They will be brought to book. At the end of the day, nothing will happen. Another incident will happen. They will still sing the same song, the same rhetoric. Well, a country where people would attack a station and kill the police officers on duty, define the level of mad people, a uh, lawless disorderliness of of people we have. Ex exactly. <laughs> this is not SAS office, Enugu. Okay. Um, don't say it is nemesis. It is really a nemesis, a country where those who are supposed to protect the lives and properties of the people are rather turning around to kill them and embezzle their properties. It also shows the level of lawlessness and high handedness from security operatives. Uh, we are gradually drifting to such to the much American predicted implosion. Yet, we behave like ostrich gets a capable hands to pilot the affairs of Nigeria. No. Restructure Nigeria. No. Practice through federalism. No. We are postponing the evil day. Everything. No, 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 no. The one Nigeria, the whatever. Do it and let every... By default, everybody will forget about all these agitations if everybody is well taken care of. It's no matter of uh, carrying some people along, okay? Uh, okay, let us settle these people. Recently, we are hearing that... Uh, Good luck, Jonathan is, is warning the Niger Delta youth not to do this, not to do this. You don't when you don't put things in place, that is how you are going to be struggling. And these people, they just they have seen it as just normal thing. Let me just go there and do my own bidding. I will come back. I will come back. I'll begin to make statements. Hey, that statement. Put things in order. Not that you are going to settle some people and leave some people. And the numbers of people they always carry along, they are just less than maybe five percent. Then the ninety something percent will be buying to the Philistines and you with their, with, in their own mind, they have done the right thing. In their own mind, they've done everything. They, they are, you know, it's, it's all about good governance. But when other people will start springing up, they will start crying again. Why can't we do something that everybody will benefit? Why? Ah, I don't just understand. Honestly, it's really tiring. In as much as the security personnel are eliminating lives instead of protecting it, then the Citizens should continue to set example with their own lives so that they will know the value of lives. Vice President supports the evil doer. I pity you. Your ogre is much gooder you. Uh, what is this one saying? See what uh, Dorothy said. Very much intelligent woman. Uh, you know what this one is trying to say? Well, they need to die more. It's painful. However, our government don't seem to act on time and SAS operators no they will not act on time oh. they will just be pussyfooty until things get worse like this worry with what is happening in the country is cool with it because if it's not cool with it these are the things that can make you get angry but <laughs> for we nothing but when it comes to when they talk about his own administration that is when they will not come like hey, what i don't understand they'll begin to tell you that you are not patriotic it's unfair so guys let's say your opinion with this and let us know what you think. Thank you.